For the dawn of the so-called Arab Spring in 2011, the region has gone under profound, if not historic, change. Given this churning, many believe we may eventually face a regional conflict with global consequences. In the wake of the Arab Spring, political upheaval led to frightening developments across the Middle East. ISIS terrorists conquered huge areas of Syria and Iraq. Iran struck a landmark nuclear deal with the rest of the world. Russia's military moved into the region and the two main Islamic rivals, Sunni Saudi Arabia and Shiite Iran, appear on the brink of war. The state of the Middle East is a catastrophe right now. The Middle East is on fire. Best-selling author Joel Rosenberg sees a gloomy picture for the year ahead. 2016 uh, is going to be a very dangerous year because you're watching the complete catastrophic failure of American foreign policy under President Obama. You're watching the Russians and the Iranians try to move into the vacuum of the American retreat. You're watching the Islamic State on offense. You're seeing Iran has been rewarded for its belligerent behavior and now has two pathways to nuclear weapons. This is a disaster in the making. Many believe one of those disasters will result from the nuclear deal with Iran. Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas calls it one of the worst diplomatic agreements in U.S. history. Even if Iran follows the deal to the letter, they are going to be a nuclear threshold state in a mere 10 to 15 years, which as Prime Minister Netanyahu said is the blink of an eye in the life of nations. Cotton says it could lead to a nuclear arms race and put the region on the brink of disaster. We are at risk of entering a second nuclear age and the loss of life will be uh, counted not in the tens, not in the thousands, not even the hundreds of thousands, but in the millions. And that loss of life could include US lives because Iran is also developing a ballistic missile program. And they also have terrorist groups that are shown they are willing to kill Americans. Another storm on the horizon is the brewing battle between Shiite Iran and Sunni Saudi Arabia. The feud hit new heights when the Saudis executed a top Shiite cleric. Executing this guy is meaning like a declaration of war against Iran. Middle East expert Michael Barak doesn't foresee war between the two countries. Instead, he expects rival factions around the region to do the fighting. Actually, we are already witness to the clash between Shia and Sunnis in Yemen, in Iraq, and Syria. It will get worse, and of course. The final piece involves Russia as a major Middle East player. When the country entered the Syrian civil war, it formed an alliance with Iran. That unprecedented coalition poses a greater danger to the Jewish state. The alliance between Moscow and Tehran is a match made in hell. And what you've got now is the two countries are now operating in Syria, um, supposedly against the Islamic State, but it puts them dangerously close to Israel. And the United States, under President Obama, has just thrown up our hands and said, well, you know, whatever, why don't you guys take care of the problem? We are ceding the Middle East over to Moscow and Tehran. This has dangerous implications for the United States and the world and for Israel like we have not seen in, in generations.